Hi everyone, I'm going to be reading one of my favorite stories by one of my favorite authors. I hope you love it just as much as I do. The name of the book is called Imagine. The author or writer is Juan Felipe Herrera. He's actually from here in Fresno. And the illustrator is Lauren Castillo. If I picked chamomile flowers as a child in the windy fields and whispered to their fuzzy faces, imagine. If I let tadpoles swim across my hands in the wavy creek, imagine. If I jumped up high into my poppy's army truck and left our village of farm workers and waved adios to my amiguitos, imagine. If I let the stars at night paint my blanket with milky light, with shapes of hungry birds while I slept outside, imagine what you could do. Did you ever sleep outside when you were a child? I did. And look at the stars and imagine. <clears throat> if I help Mama feed the hopping chickens and catch the crazy turkey in the front yard of our new village? Imagine. If I walk through the evening forest at the top of a mountain, with a silvery bucket to fetch water from the next town, imagine. <clears throat> if I moved to the winding city of tall, bending buildings and skipped to a new concrete school I had never seen, Imagine. Do you remember going to a new school? Do you remember when you first came to Fresno Adult School if you're a student? If I open my classroom's wooden door not knowing how to read or speak in English, imagine. Do you remember the first time you came to school not knowing a lot of English? Or maybe the first time your children went to school not knowing a lot of English? <clears throat> if I practice spelling words in English by saying them in Spanish, like pencil for pencil, imagine. If I collected gooey and sticky ink pens because I loved how the ink flowed like tiny rivers across soft paper, imagine. If I grabbed a handful of words I had never heard and sprinkled them over a paragraph so I could write a magnificent story, imagine. Do you remember when you learned new words in English and you wrote sentences 
you wrote paragraphs and maybe even a story. <clears throat> if I stood in a school far away from where I lived and sang for the first time in front of class, imagine. Do you remember the first time maybe you spoke in front of class? If I started to write a poem on a skinny paper pad after school as I walked on the wide sidewalk and then finished it when I got home, imagine. Do you ever write the new words you learn in a notepad? In a notebook? If I picked up my honey-colored guitar and called out my poem every day until it turned into a song, imagine. If I gathered many words and many more songs with both of my hands and let them fly over my mesa and turn them into a book of poems, imagine. <clears throat> If I stood up wearing a robe in front of my families and many more on the high steps of the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. and read out loud and signed my poetry book like this, Poet Laureate of the United States of America. Imagine what you could do. Okay, students, I challenge you to write down your thoughts, write your ideas in English, in a writing book, in a journal, what did you think about the story? Um, I would love for you to come up with your own story. If you would like to get some feedback from me, please email me. Or you can um, leave some comments down below on this video. Here is my email and also here is my YouTube channel where I will be posting the videos when I read these stories. Can you see? Oops. Thank you. See you next time.